Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Holland Duck and we are playing Europa Near Solace 4 together with the newest DLC, Rights of Man. We're playing on very hard difficulty with Lucky Nation set to historical. Welcome back. Um, in the last episode we uh, sort of planned our future war. So the idea is attacking Burgundy, um, pulling in the Allies Savoy as a co-belligerent and uh, that will pull in Austria and Hungary. And then we'll sort of be able to basically split off Poland um, in terms of the coalition because um, most coalition guys will actually have a truce with me and will not be able to join that coalition. So we will only have Brandenburg, Poland, Lithuania to fight. Uh, we'll also be able to uh, sort of bring these guys back to the right path, flip them to Catholic because um, yeah, that's not that's not a thing that you want that you want to happen. Uh, these guys have been converted. I hope that France at some point takes Gloucestershire to get rid of that last cent of reformation. Um, there's still some Protestant um, provinces over there. But if we could get rid of that cent of reformation, the reformation would be completely finished. Um, and that would be really good. Um, we're fabricating a bunch of claims. I was sort of contemplating allying Muscovy. Um, they won it. I'm not sure I want it though. They are very far away, so it will be difficult to get them in any sort of meaningful war. Um, they could sort of provide a distraction against Lithuania, and that's about all they could do. Not sure. I'm not sure. We're already above the relations cap. I'm not sure if I should go for um, another guy in the periphery. It might just not be what we need. Now, these guys. I've still been trying to get them on my good side. What we could do is we could spend our favors to up our trust with them. That brings us to 59 versus 59. Now I'm going to monitor that closely. Let's just... Um, well, we could go for a proclaim guarantee. That might be enough. Maybe. Discover Teutonic Order has cancelled. Oh, Lithuania has set me as their new rival. Um, right, okay, we've got Saxon Separatists over there. That's not good. Let's um, put these on maintenance. I'm still missing the ability to put specific armies um, up in terms of maintenance and specific armies down. That is something that I would very much like to see. But it's just annoying having to reactivate your whole army if you just want to squish a bunch of uh, rebels that can get that can get very annoying I'm just gonna give each of these armies a uh, an infantry unit at least that's what I was thinking oh Brandenburg is actually gonna take care of this right thank you Brandenburg we just broke our Alliance that we had going for about a hundred years without um, any use, but oh well. So let's get rid of um, the fort, and I think we might also get rid of the full army maintenance for now. I'm not sure if the coalition is actually going to trigger, um, but I can't really afford to keep my troops up at all time. That's just not a thing. Um, I could upgrade my military, and I think I would. It's going to give us 0.3 in terms of infantry fire, which is really good. Next level is also very important. Gaining the Mauritian infantry or the charge infantry can make all the difference in the world. Um, and we have a superior unit type. We're going to get uh, a much better, much better rider unit, which is good. Um, I'm still waiting for a mission that will allow me to increase my diplomatic reputation, but maybe we don't have to do that. Um, what 59 versus 59? I mean, I could just do a little bit of development. Um, not sure what else I could do. I can do some relationship improvement, maybe, but they're already at 200 now, so what else is there to do? What else is there to do? Um, Teutonic Order has embraced the printing press. That is fine. Um, so, I'm going to have 20 over here. I'm going to have 20 over here. Let's go for 20 over there, 20 over there. And then we're going to wait a little bit until we can make 20 out of this as well. 
Uh, once I'm done with that, I should actually just try to save up a bit, of, a little bit of money. Oh yeah, and we do have enough to make another claim on Austria. Um, so fabricate a claim on Welsh Brixen. Oh, uh, Welsh Bern actually. This is Welsh Brixen, uh, which we don't want. We sort of want to break out as many nations as possible out of Austria. Now, I don't think I'm going to take Steiermark. I don't think that's a good idea, so I'm just going to leave it um, for now. Not claim it. Stop building a spy network there. I could claim these two on uh, on Savoy. Would I be able to claim the Wallis? I don't think I will. Let's try it. Fabricate claim. Has no possible neighboring province to fabricate a claim on. And my Savoyard spy network needs to be at least of a certain size. Mm. Yeah, we already have a claim. It's a shame that I can't do that, but I guess that's just gotta be it. I will try to destroy as many of the of the economic base as possible by releasing nations, especially out of Austria. This is gonna be Milan, that's gonna be Tyrol, that's gonna be Alsace. And then we might take these two provinces just to sort of destroy their their approach to the coast. It's going to be good. What's your military tech? 14 as well. Um, these guys have 14. I wouldn't mind reaching 15 before we do this attack. That would make my life a whole lot easier. Come on, Barra. Become my vassal. I know you want it. Okay, we lost our master recruiter. Hmm. The morale of armies guy isn't bad, but I'm not sure I'm going to need a another advisor right now. Hmm. We're still recruiting. Go on. Make our armies a little bit bigger. Now we have 6 times 20,000, so we have exactly 120,000 men. Which is pretty good. Uh, that makes us the third biggest military power in the whole world after the Ottomans, who have I think nearly two million. They're very powerful. Yeah, they have one point. Um, no, wait, no, they have only one hundred eighty-six thousand. Uh, forget, forget the million. And then there's France with one hundred sixty-three, and then there's us with one hundred twenty. So, we're stronger than most of our neighbors. We have powerful alliances as well. We can pull Aragon, we can pull a bunch of people. I might even be able to swing an alliance with Sweden. Although, no. Too many relations allied to Denmark. That's a deal breaker, I guess. Come on, Barwa. Yeah, can do it. I know you can. Come on. I mean, I could try to influence them. Uh, what's that gonna do? Um, only altering the opinion. Oh no, their trust of us changes by five. Okay, we'll, we'll go for that one. That should that should do it. That should do it. Um, Forty-eight versus fifty. Come on, I'd rather have them as a free city. I'd rather have them for that. Can I do anything else? They have no debt. I'm already influencing them. I mean, what about these guys? Um, would you be willing to become a free city? You wouldn't. Will we be able to ally you again? Yeah, you still have break alliances. That's not good. I mean, at least I could make them my vassal now. I would like the, the free city status more, though. A kingdom for a little bit more diplomatic reputation. A whole kingdom. <laughs> mm. I could actually get rid of my alliance with the Palatinate. I don't really need these guys. On the other hand, they have a lot of aggressive expansion. And I might want um, a bunch of nations that could be uh, a potential elector. They're occupied by Anhalt. 
Let's hope that this war doesn't end in a way that I don't like. Let's just go up to speed 3. There's not much happening. Okay, Muscovy is now allied with the uh, Teutonic Order. Okay, and Austria with Brunswick. Oh well, we'll have to deal with that one. We're nearly there though. We're nearly there. 48 versus 50. One point of Diplo Rep would be enough to get our to get our stuff back on track. I wonder if I shouldn't still go for the influence ideas. It's gonna be 400, 800, 1200, um, 1600. It's gonna be 2000 Diplo points before we reach the Diplo reputation plus two. But it's very useful. The only problem is that the policies that you get with that one, they aren't too great. None of them give us more um, more diplo rep. Huh. Except for the humanist ideas. I don't think we're going to go for those. Uh, what would we get? More vassal force limit contribution and more income from vassals. Um, attrition for enemies. What would happen with quality ideas? More income from vassals and institution spread. Hmm. Yeah, it's not quite what I want. Even though the two diplomatic reputation, having them outright is just amazing. Um, is there a limit to how many policies I can have? I don't think so. I don't think so. This costs one military power each month to maintain. So... Um, I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't mind having a guy who increases the amount of land force limit that I can have. Maybe not though. Should I just make them into a vassal? I doubt that I'll be able to do this right now. I will. At least they are they're doing what I want them to do then. Mm, let's go for it. Offer of vassalization. Okay, so now they're my vassal. Uh, I can't make them into a um, free city out of a subject state, but it's fine. It's completely fine. Austria has been discovered while building a spy network. Um, that's not nice, Austria. Stop doing that. Hmm. Wouldn't mind taking a little bit of land from Hungary. Um, specifically, I want to take Slovakia. So those those two places would make a welcome addition. I don't think they have any more gold. Um, trade goods. Yeah, no. We got nearly all the gold mines in reach. We would have to take that. We would have to pry that from the Ottomans, which is going to be... Very difficult. Um, La Mancha. That belongs to France. Yeah, we've got all the gold mines that are in our reach. We have three gold mines, which is already pretty insane. Because uh, there are not that many in the world. There's one over here that uh, Moscovy can reach. A lot of fur in the north. And then the Ottomans. I think they have the chance to, to gain one over here. That's, that's gold somewhere. That's gold somewhere in this area. Um, and then I think there's some gold here, yeah, in Morocco, which is giving them a lot of their power. A lot of the power that they have comes from that gold. But we already have the three gold mines, so I think we should just be content with it. Oh, yeah. Um, let's upgrade our Diplotech, because why not? Um, diplomatic relations. We still have Styria. These guys aren't the greatest allies. Allied with France, Augsburg, Bavaria, Pomerania, and Mantua. I mean, they have 17k, but do we really need to be allied to them? I don't think so. Um, I don't want to make them an elector. Yeah, I like that, that Austria basically has no chance doing anything against these peasants. Poland has claimed Mehren. Yeah, stop that. Stop that. Rival announced. Lorraine have said Burgundy as their rival. <laughs> Tiny two province Lorraine. Uh, but they, they are always very warlike. Um, in my experience. 
Oh, Lorraine is actually allied with Austria. I don't like that one. Revolt. Um, local unrest in Freigraschaft gets ignored unrest. Gain 20% more local autonomy there. I think we already have a crap ton of autonomy in the province. It would, it would give us... Um, no, ignore them. Ignore them. At some point that autonomy has to come down. Rival of our rival. Would give us a little bit of Diplo power. I wouldn't mind having that. I'm just waiting for the for the end of the of the truce with Burgundy. Oh, just collecting some money. Um, stop that. Thoughts of heresy. The Cardinal in Meran has lived close to the heretics in our nation, and rather than condemn them, he has tried to understand them. What well, a sympathetic course of action. Uh, he has recently approached one of our ministers, confessing that he has himself started to doubt church doctrine. If this came to the Pope's knowledge, we would no longer be allowed to serve in the Curia. He would no longer be allowed. But perhaps we could convince him to keep this to himself for a few ducats. Um, okay, 40% chance that the Pope will discover this action. It's a bunch of money. No. Go away. We have enough high-level, high-value provinces that we don't really need to um, go for that. Again, a diplomatic, diplomatic insult of the Palatinate. Um, France still likes me. Mm, Liège is a little bit lukewarm with only 42. So let's improve that. They are an elector after all. I wish that the religious struggles would uh, come to an end at some form. I I cannot attack them and start the um, start the religious war. The Protestants have to do that to sort of fight for their religious freedom. England no longer considers us a rival. And we have now Saxon as a seat uh, of a cardinal. So that's good. I like it. Hmm... Ravensburg. Our truce with Ravensburg has ended. What now? Can we ally you again? No, only in 89. Shame. Shame. I really would like you to uh, like to make you into a free city as well. Um, clergy estate modifier has expired. Burgers estate modifier has expired. Our truce with Newfoundland has ended. And Magdeburg wants to move through our lands. What are you? You're good Catholics. Yeah, do it then. That's fine. I allow it. You ask the Emperor, and that is how it should be. Mm. Growth of the administration. As the state and its bureaucracy grow, there is an ever-growing need of people to oversee and administrate various lands and functions. The nobility have traditionally been more associated with military service to the state, but have increasingly made it clear that they still expect to be the first in line when government offices are being handed out. The burghers, on the other hand, claim that the nobility considers such appointments as mere rewards and will use them only to enrich themselves. So we basically have to choose between the nobility and the burghers. Um, diplomatic relations, global trade power. Let's turn to the clergy instead. Oh yeah, so we have to consult this. I wouldn't mind... Having the burghers being being active, I also wouldn't mind having the clergy like us. Nobility loses 20 loyalty, which is not good. Um, burghers lose 20 ability. These guys, I mean, it's just really easy to pick on the burghers. Um, whenever you have stuff like that, that you have to decide. Let's go for the nobility, actually. That's going to help me with my maintenance as well. And I think I'm I think I'm gonna just kick this guy out. I don't need him. I could go for level one guy instead. And could even um, go for level one guy over here as well. Uh, which is gonna be good. And we're still gonna have more money in the bank. I'm just trying to save up a little bit of money. Um, for various reasons. Mainly as a war chest. It's already May 85. We're going to be on in October 86. So in October 85, we're going to go and raise our army maintenance, bring our troops in position and get ready for the big war. I mean, it is sort of, maybe I should just fight Burgundy and its allies. 
instead of putting in Austria as well. But that is that is sort of the coup of this plan that I would be able to bring in Austria and Hungary as well. Maybe I maybe I should sort of try and do a great power action. There are some great power actions that uh, we could actually do. I could threaten war over my claims, which they're not going to care for. And I could also try to break their alliances. I could ask them to break their alliance with Savoy. Hmm. So we will get a Castle's Belly on us. Lower their trust by 5. Otherwise we lose 10 prestige. Will I be able to force Hungary into breaking that, uh, their stuff with Savoy? No. They trust Savoy a good deal. Hmm. Would I be able to um, stop Lorraine from being allied with Austria? Not quite. Trust towards Austria, relative strength of coalition. Okay. Shame. Shame. I mean, you have to use these carefully. You can't just dole them out willy-nilly. Or there will be severe repercussions. Oldenburg has entered into a military coalition. That's to be expected. Once they come out of their, once they come out of their truce, they generally tend to, to sort of do that. So, um, eighty-six. There's still a couple of months. Excommunicated ruler against Savoy. Their ruler has been excommunicated. I mean, I could also just attack them, make them the, uh, the leader. And Burgundy, the co-belligerent, allied with Brittany, Savoy, Venice, and Eno. I wonder what the better construct is, but I'll, I'll mull it over. I think it'll happen in the next episode. For now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.